a society based on science and technology in which nobody understands anything about science and technology. And this mixture of ignorance and power is going to blow up in our faces. Welcome to Dismiss Science, Off the Grid Science. So the intro song was based upon a quote by Carl Sagan. If you don't know who Carl Sagan was, this is what he's most known for, the cosmos. Like, oh, I saw it on Netflix with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, he was the original of this. This is the book that that was based off of. That got me thinking about an idea of this off the grid. So my mission statement for this class is to, using scientific principles and scientific method, be able to convert energy, store energy, and harness energy to sustain life on this planet and other planets. So that got me to thinking about the idea of intergalactic fitness. So if you don't know what fitness is by means of natural selection, you should read some of the work by Charles Darwin. I mean, when I say intergalactic fitness, I am talking about society's knowledge because I think that's what's going to be important. So everybody that can understand and know these principles, I think it's a right that you know this and you teach it to other people. Because right now, we are living in a kind of a crisis, but there's always opportunity in crisis. Everybody has more time to do things. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be compiling a rudimentary database and I have a series of tasks for you guys to do. First task, download Wikipedia, put it on external hard drive. I have two ways you can do it. So to navigate this though, you need to go to my website. So dsmithscience.com. Go to the off the grid tab. There's a button that says resources. So there's ways, I have two different ways you can download Wikipedia or you can figure out your own way. Download Wikipedia, fill out the form on my website as well. So fill out that form. So the first task also, first task also is to, you know, what's your end goal for this project? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to have happen? You could just do that in a boring science jargon if you wanted to, but you can try to make it more difficult by trying to make, uh, make it humorous, make it funny, make it entertaining, make, write a story. Or you could translate that, your task, your goal, into another language if, you're, if you know more than one language. So I'll read you mine. My end goal for this project is to be able to Frankenstein and cannibalize current technology to enable me to have an herbal garden that is all monitored by robots and computer software. I mean, I want drones to drop off my produce, washed and ready to go. I want all this to be automated through a computer program. However, I don't understand AI, and quite frankly, it scares me. I know what a neuron is, but not a neural network. Should I destroy my Roomba right now? Am I part of the simulation? Is this the matrix? What company will be Skynet? Amazon, Facebook, Google, or a wild card? I'm going to cry in the tub now. So that's kind of like an example. Do whatever you want. Uh, so what skills and experience am I going to bring? This is another question I'm going to ask you. I know a lot of smart people. I'm decent at organizing information, and I am a dangerously ignorant scientist. So please subscribe, like, share, participate, engage, and let's have fun doing this. Thank you. We've arranged a society based on science and technology in which nobody understands anything about science and technology. And this mixture of ignorance and power is going to blow up in our faces.